Hello, thank you for viewing our poster. My name is Ryan Elson and I'm going to give you a very brief overview of our study that assessed the fMRI response to caricatured faces, finding that caricatured faces activate object selective cortex. So um, there's an idea called face space that suggests that all of the faces we encounter can be represented in a high dimensional space and can be processed relative to an average face that our brain calculates. And this has recently received strong supporting evidence from research in macaques. Now, theoretically, faces further from the average being caricatures um, should be easier to recognise, and this is well supported by behavioural studies. But little research has investigated the response in visual cortex to caricatured faces, which should, in theory, um, evoke a stronger response. So some studies have looked at the effect of distance from average, but with a mixture of methods, some including humans, some uh, including macaques as participants. And uh, of those studies, fewer have kind of taken that to the extreme to look at highly caricatured faces. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to look at the fMRI response to highly caricatured faces in the FFA, which is one of the core face processing areas. And we expected to see an increase in the bold response as caricature level increased. However, we didn't see this effect. So we also explored the response patterns using a correlation based MVPA, and we also explored the response in object and scene selective cortex as well. So first of all, we performed a behavioural experiment using a method of adjustment to assess the average point at which participants thought the faces transitioned from being natural, natural and physically plausible to unnatural and not physically plausible. And uh, these faces were made using a computer based face space using a principal components analysis. And you can see a demonstration uh, video of this PCA space if you scan a QR code on the poster. Then we move on to the fMRI experiment. So we presented a uh, standard face localizer to localize face, object and scene selective cortex. And uh, then we assess the response to faces of varying caricature level within these RRIs. So we had five levels of caricature and then for each of the, um, the most and least caricatured faces, we also presented the picture play in inverted versions. So we looked at the average response amplitude as well as the consistency of the response patterns in each of the RRI and compared these results across caricature level. So we looked at the univariate responses first, and in the FFA, we started by looking at the effect of caricature level and inversion with the most and least caricatured faces first. And the only significant effect here was an interaction between hemisphere and caricature level. And this showed there was a significant effect of caricature level, but only in the right FFA, and this was only marginal. However, um, when we looked at the response to all five caricature levels of upright stimuli, we found no effective caricature level or hemisphere and no interaction. So we then had a look at face selective cortex more broadly, as well as object and scene selective cortex. And in both of the analyses, we found that there was a significant increase in response amplitude with an increase in caricature level, but only in object selective cortex and not face or scene selective. So uh, then we looked at the MVPA data. And this found that as caricature level increased, the consistency of the response pattern also increased in the right FFA and also in object selective cortex bilaterally. So overall, there's no, we found no clear effect of caricature level on the response amplitude in the FFA or face selective cortex broadly, but we did find that increase in caricature level increased the response pattern consistency in the right FFA. In contrast, uh, we saw both an increase in average response amplitude and uh, response pattern consistency in object selective cortex. Now, there's many reasons that this could possibly be. One of them perhaps is that caricaturing faces enhance particular low level properties uh, that are particularly characteristic of objects. Um, to our knowledge, these are the first results showing that caricatured faces activate cortex is typically associated with object processing. So thank you for listening and um, thank you to my supervisors, Alan and Dennis. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me an email or message me on Twitter. Uh, or please feel free to visit our poster at TPS. Thank you.